<laughs> I'm back with Josh. So, um, hey, we, we just pulled up to the ramp. We're about to get out. Uh, we met up. I'm, I ran up to Knoxville. We're metting up, getting in a river. How many miles are we doing, Josh? Oh, man, it's probably... We're doing a little extra than we normally... We, we've 12. done this... 12 miles? Yeah, we've, we've done most of this float several times, and the last time I caught some really good smallmouth. It's middle of October. It was like in the 30s this morning, and uh, I think the, like, the smallmouth are going to be eaten. But we're going to cover a lot of miles, so a lot of chance to catch some good fish. So let's get a, uh, and I brought the bigger kayak. He brought his bigger kayak because uh, this is a little bit bigger water, and the water is up. I'm excited to get in here. I just want to show you. Yeah, that's not a bad fish. I threw a bus bait, 20, 30 casts down through there. Picked up a plate of jig, second cast. So. Well, I'm just getting in the water. Josh already got a fish. I got to adjust my camera. I feel like it's too low in the back. There's one. Hey, we got one. Had been going too far. A little smally. I think I had a hit just back there from another one. Little one. I had a good one following up. It just like hit it right at the kayak. Oh yeah. I, I've definitely had two or three hits. Like, but they feel like smaller fish. I've I, throwing. Spinner bait. I've caught one, but it was like a 11, 10, 11 incher. Oh, I got a follower, but I had grass on it and he wouldn't eat it. I had a big old piece of grass on it. Yeah, I know. I was like, we're moving along. Oh, there we go. Hey. Right on the bank. Oh my god. Oh! He had a tag in him. Oh, you threw it back. Oh, I, I couldn't I couldn't catch it because it was slipping out of my hands and oh. then I saw it had a tag. That's a hundred dollars. Man, I didn't see it at first. Oh that's no. crazy. I've never caught a tag fish. I saw it as it was falling in the water. That's what happened to me that day. I should have took I should have just took my chance. I was like, well I'll just let him fall back in there. Alright, well, Josh has already got three fish. That's my second one in 30 minutes. And I had a, it definitely had a tag in it. Man, that was, um, <laughs> oh, your rod about hit. Man, I wish I'd, I wish I'd have hung on to it a little bit. I was just like, ah, let him just fall back in there. He was like, probably, it wasn't real big. I expect the tag to be like a bigger one, but he's like 13, 14 inches, maybe. There's another one. That was like three casts in between. No tag on that one. We'll go ahead and put it back in there. I'm checking every one of them really good. Yeah, it does. Cast up in, ooh, right there. Uh, oh, had a hit and my rod's gonna make it. Uh. Almost, almost lost him. Right on that bank. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, I lost a good one. Yeah, he was nice. He was nice. He broke my spinner blade. Man, it broke my spinner blade. I should have known. I, I had that and wore out from fishing in Pennsylvania, and I should have replaced it. They can only take so much like bending and stuff. That was a big smallmouth, and I lost it. Man, that's the only bad thing about spinner blades. You use them a lot, and I do. I use them a lot. They will break. They're gonna break over time. Just metal. Well, we're just having a hard start this morning left had a tag fish let it go back in hooked a big one broke this i thought it came unhooked i'm like how did he come unhooked actually broke this the spinner blade 
But you know what? We're going back with another one, and um, those fish are biting. They're really close to the bank. So, like, all, already you can tell they're hanging on the bank really tight. Josh was saying it's gonna be on. I think it is. These fish are active. Get a big one here. Hopefully land a good one here in a minute. Wow. Ow. <laughs> Get on there. Oh yeah. Oh wow, that's a good one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Josh! Almost oh, in the neck. Oh, that's a nice one. I went through the shallow area. I threw out in the middle. I've been making some casts out in the middle because I know there's like shoals out here. Oh man, how'd this thing get all now that thing's all connected on there. That's a long, that's back to, <laughs> in Susquehanna, I was catching those big old fat ones. I'm back to these long Tennessee skinny river fish. Oh yeah, he's a 17 and a half. All right, 17 and a half. Good long skinny smallmouth. That's how we, that's how we grow them down here. Cove, right where he should be, though. Right where he should be. <laughs> oh my goodness! They are loaded up on this thing. Oh, was that a big one or was that a carp that went below me? Well, they are hitting pretty good. I don't even know, was that, I think eight or ninth fish already? Maybe 10, I don't even know how many I've got. It's already a good day when I've, you ain't been going, but maybe an hour and I already got that many. I'm just working that bank, but every every fish has been really close to the bank. If I don't get my cast, um, except for that one I was out in the middle, which was the biggest one. Oh, oh, what? I got a hit and I was just letting my spinnerbait sit. Man, they are up in here. Oh, there. oh, I just saw it. I got another hit. I watched them come out. All right. This is crazy. There's a lot of them down here. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. There's a good one. I watched them come get it. Come here. Yeah. I need a pitch. Oh, While you're here, let me get a picture of this one. This guy was thicker. Oh, he's thick. That's a nice one. Oh, we're gonna catch way bigger than that today, though. Quit saying that. It's gonna happen. Don't, no. Yeah, it is. Be happy, you, you do this every time. <laughs> You've you already caught like, what, five or six? I've caught 10 fish. 10? And this is my second one over 17. See, there you go. Look how his weird his tail is. It's, his tail is making it a... Uh, it's longer? Inch longer. He said just. I thought you was fishing an online tournament. I am. I was an 18 incher that went back in. That was 18 inches just then? Yeah, he was over 18 because his tail was wow. real long. It was like a 17 with an extra long tail. Crazy. Anyhow. You didn't get a picture of it? Not on the board. Dang. Uh, it's kind of hard to do it in this current and we got some photos and then I was trying to get it on the board. But that was a really nice fish. Another one on the spinnerbait. I'm not liking this net. I went and bought this net. And I don't like it. It's too shallow. 
I gotta go get a, a good net. Dude. Where is it at? Up there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I told you. First 20 of the day. Up where? Up in the creek? Yeah, right yeah. there. She hit a bladed jig. I saw her. I was like, oh, it's a good, it's a big, because I saw, I mean, she was so big, I just watched her. There we go, guys. 20 incher, first one of the day. I told John. We was going to catch a 20, so that's the first one. I don't know. All right, let's go down there and catch more fish, take a break here. Well, we're only like three, four, four miles in, maybe. I mean, technically, like if, like we normally float, like Cliff Road, we're just starting. There's a good one. That's a good one. You're not a, you're not a 20, but he's nice. Ah, dude, they're all good. They are munching too. Dude, that's not bad. They are munching, that's awesome. They are. I was gonna let you fish it, now that you got one. I'm yeah, gonna, go ahead. I'm gonna make a couple casts. These guys are long and skinny. Whoa, whoa. I'm in a tree. Gotta pay attention where you're going. This one's a 15 and a quarter. So I'm back. I just watched Josh, or I, I came around the corner and Josh had a 20 incher. And uh, it was a beautiful fish. I'd like to get one. That's kind of the goal whenever you fish these river, especially this river, like there's a lot of 20s in there. That's the goal. And that's a uh, trophy size, a 20 incher. is. There's a little bit. Oh man, there was a big one down there. I just saw a big one swim off. There was a lot of logs. I, I didn't get a single fish off logs. And I fished, you know, that's three full days of fishing, basically. And I, I did a lot of cast, a lot of fishing. Oh, God. Giant. Giant. Another 20. Holy cow. That's a 21. That's a giant. I might. I'll be able Josh, just kind of giant. Ah, that's kind of where you get a little aggravated. You're like, okay, okay. Enough fun for him. Let me have one of those. Dude, that fish is a... Oh, my! Biggin. Did we just double up on Biggin? Not as big as yours, but he's big. <laughs> biggin. It ain't Josh's Biggin, but we just doubled up on some nice river smallies. Nice. All right. That's... <laughs> I'm going to get caught in the tree over here. Oh, he threw the spinner right out. Oh. All right, that's probably a 16 incher. We're gonna throw him back because Josh has got one that makes this one look tiny. Let's get to look at his. We'll take a picture and get a video of his over here. Four nine three. Got one more time. Dude, that's that is a, that's basically a five pounder. This is just four nine three. Yeah. She hit five and then went back down to four nine three. 21 and three quarters. Oh my goodness, that is so long. This right here is why you come over here to these rivers. Uh, felt coming down through there, throwing that bladed jig, and I didn't even feel her hit it. I just felt slack. There was nothing there. Reeled, felt the pressure, set the hook, and uh, yeah, I knew instantly that that was a giant. The thing is, though, you can catch, like a day like this, like the big ones are eating. That's what's crazy, is like you're, you're, the big ones are there. Oh my goodness, all right, I got a mission now is got to catch a big one. That was crazy. That was a super big river fish, just insane. Good, another hit. <laughs> oh, there's a log, that's a slug. Yeah, it's kind of weird, but... Another hit. And I probably had, look at these, I probably had 10 or 15 of these guys hit down through here. Don't cut that other one. Unless you want to go do it first. I'll let you. Uh, no, go ahead. I'll just keep going down this bank. You'll probably go catch another one. <laughs> That's a fat little dude. Man. I'm starting to get aggravated these little guys. Usually it's awesome, but now I'm like really focused on getting a big one. Oh, I'm getting some current here. Let me get turned around. Oh my goodness! <laughs> 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 
stopped eating fish. <laughs> There's my sign. That's my sign right there. I just saw Eagle go by. Getting a giant. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. I feel it. And no way. Dude, look at this large mouth. <laughs> Got like a eagle goes by, get a large mouth. Don't get a little get a little large mouth out of here. About a 15 inch large mouth. Next cast, the, the bite is ridiculous right now. About a 12 inch smally. I'm just trying to get these fish back off here so I can get a cast back out as fast as I can. Oh my. <laughs> these guys are getting hooked, they ain't even trying to hook them. Really dark one there. <laughs> Man. Some days you just don't realize how many fish are in the river. That's two o'clock. We've covered uh, quite a bit of water. I sit here, take a quick little break, eat a little bit of snacks. Um, been an incredible day fishing. I've caught a bunch of fish, over 20 fish, I'd say. A lot of little ones. I had a lot of hits that have like just hit and come off. So the fish that has, has been very aggressive. I'm looking for that big one. Josh has got those two big ones. It was crazy because that one, I, I caught a fish. He kind of went around in front of me and we were fishing this ledge, kind of like just alternating. And then he throws in there and catches that one that was almost five pounds. And about, uh, since then, we haven't caught any big ones yet. The water is working its way down from uh, the dam way upstream, so it's it's lowering. But it could it could catch back up, start raising again. I don't know, but the fish are still biting, and we got several more places to go where we can still catch some big ones. It was a really cold start, but I'm gonna shed a little layer. This is a Ashigan brand. And it's like the official brand of smallmouth. I got this from Josh. I fished with him uh, up in Pennsylvania. And uh, he also has a Smalley Talk podcast. Some of y'all might know that. So definitely got some cool designs and they're big smallmouth guys, but I got to shed a layer. All right, good little break. We're going to get right back into it. And there's some good sections right through here. Catch one, haul it for me. I'm just going right around the corner. Okay. Oh, little one. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, right back on him. <laughs> Dude, this is the most fish I've ever caught here. Probably the most fish I've ever caught while fishing with you. Like, name a day where we caught more fish. What? Hey. I Let's video it. So I'm going to cut this tag off and uh, call this. It's got a number on it. And, and check Josh's channel to find out what happens next. Because he got this his third 20-incher. I'm not going to ruin 
his video. He's had an incredible day. Is this Josh again? It is. <laughs> uh, as I say, your voice sounds familiar. Yeah, I, I recognize yeah. yours too. We actually had two of them today. My buddy John, uh, Creek Fisher Adventures, he had one on oh, earlier. Yeah. He accidentally l dropped it in the water as a smaller one, but I saw the tag as I was letting it go. <laughs> so I've caught a 21 and three quarters today. I've caught a 20, and then a, this one's 20 and a half. The tag one, so it's really good over here today. Holy smokes! Yeah. Oh my! <laughs> oh! I just lost a jump! <laughs> oh my goodness! Josh was right. I threw the blade jig. I just hooked a monster and it came off. I wish I had it on my other rod. I didn't have the right setup, I feel like. I don't know. I don't know why it came off. But he did. But I watched that fish come out. He like really came out and ate it. That was at least an 18-incher. Just, oh my goodness. I'm, I'm having an awesome day, but I'm like struggling at the same time. I don't know what is going on. Oh, That's not bad. Oh, it's been a minute since I had a decent one. Not a 20, but. Goodness, it's strong. Well, you got one on the cheddar bait. 5, 14, 15. I'm a positive, I'm negative. Cross his toe. Stay on, stay on, stay on. That's a good one. That's a really good fish. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on, stay on, stay on. Is he on there? Oh! I lost my net and the fish. No! 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 Get the fish in, get the fish in. That was such a mess. I, I, I hit the bell. I lost my net, but I landed the fish. Is it a 20? If not, it's a really nice fish. Oh man, we are really close to the end here. That guy was not coming off. My net is down at the bottom somewhere. I didn't like that net anyways. All right, let's see how long he is. I think he's gonna be about 18. Pretty nice fish. And there's your mouth. He is 17. 17 and a quarter. Not bad. 17 and a quarter in the day off. My uh, line's all messed up on my spinner bait, so uh, we're gonna throw something else on there. Pretty good fish. We are back. Oh my goodness, the fishing was, this is the best I've ever had on this river. I've caught bigger fish, but I lost a couple of really good ones. Josh had absolutely incredible, like I probably caught more fish than him, but he caught like three just uh, giant ones. And uh, it was awesome just to see that. I, we've come out here before and really struggled, you know, certain times on this river, but I think it really is, it's the fall. The temperature's dropping, the fish started eating. Uh, I was, we were talking about, I bet I had 75 at least hits and probably what landed at least 30 of those fish probably had more hits than that. There were so many fish that were just coming out and wham hitting at it. But dude, we, we probably spent eight hours out there and uh, it was a well spent eight hours fish biting the whole way. 
Yeah, I, I try not to put too much of what Josh's was because I want him to share, like show what he had. Um, I I had an amazing day and was still frustrated because when you watch somebody else catch big fish, you like you just you just really want to get one. But no, I'm, I, I can't complain. It was too good. I wish I hadn't thrown that tagged fish back in. I love the land of 20, but all in all, it was an insane day. Uh, you got time to go get some food? Let's do it. All right, we're going to go eat and um, wrap it up. But man, awesome, awesome day. If you want to see what he did, go check out his channel. How's it going everybody? Getting pretty uh, pumped up. I'm about to float six miles on my favorite river. What more could you ask for? This is gonna be fun. We have, we're just now getting started. I got Aaron with me. I've been hyping this up for him for a while. I've been trying to get him to do it. I feel like the time is right. It is, the water is low or just like really clear. The bass should be active. It's gonna be beautiful. I also bought a drone. I'm gonna try to fly it around and get some footage. So here it comes. There we go. That's what I'm looking for today. Hey, there we go. What a good start. Oh, he's fat. They're feeding, so. That's a good sign. He hit it like back, right back, right after it hit the water. I'm throwing a, actually it's a new lure. I mean, I have some, but it's a, just a rebel minnow. I kind of forgot, I'm like, you know what? I've been seeing fish chase a lot of minnows and just hitting a lot of stuff. I'll start with that. It's easy to cast. There's another gar going through right there. Little uh, Alabama bass or Alabama spider bass, whatever you want to call it. But there's a lot of these and I, Last time I fished this river, I caught a five pound, five ounce. If you haven't seen that video, you want to go check that one out. I'll leave a link right. Just kidding. You have to go find it. And uh, so let's get this one back in the water. And um, we're really just getting going. And I think it's going to be a lot of fish caught today. Oh, dude, there's a big old uh, buffalo or something underneath me. Yeah, yes, yes. He came out after it. I paused and he hit it. He, in that shade, in his little, little pocket. All right, you go ahead. There's nothing really for a while. If you, if you come to Rapids, uh, just, they're pretty shallow, so just look at them before you go down them. Oh, that's a solid one. This is a good fish. Hmm, number two. I, I get excited about these size here. These are just nice fish. Let me see a quick how long it is. 14 and a half. 14 and a half spotted bass. The water is low today, lower than it normally is from when I kayak it. And it's like, you know, it's not really like summer, summer, but it's it's already, the water level is like, a, like in the summer, so. Um, that means it's really clear and we're seeing a lot of stuff. There's lots of activity. 
hopefully I can get some good footage of just everything going on. And now I'm stuck in a tree. Oh, just the net. Okay, let's get back to fishing. Cow. What did I catch here? Oh, I got a red wrist. Aaron just hooked up on a piece of bass. I got a red wrist. That's another reason I kind of wanted to throw a lure like this. Maybe it'll catch a few different types of fish. And still get those big ones whenever they're ready. But I've had a lot of pecks from fish on it. So this minnow is definitely working. There's just these massive schools of, I think they're, are they buffalo or quillback? I think it's what I caught the other day on a worm. But uh, Aaron just got him a fish right there. I can't, you can't stop watching these fish. I just look everywhere you go. There's, I don't know, some of them are like 10 pounds. Some are just little bitty ones. Uh, oh, I think I have one. Oh, dude. There was a big, did I hook it? There was a, oh my goodness. Look at this, two spotted bass. Oh, I got I got one hooked in the head, and there's one underneath me. They're not giants, but they came out so aggressively out of there. But they just came out and like really rammed at it. But we're about, we're about to go down to this deep hole. Uh, I think we're gonna. I'm hyping it up too much, I know, but I think we're gonna get some fish down here. Yes! Oh my goodness! I just had a big one. Yeah. I, he hit it while it was paused. Oh, he's right there. I see him right there. He's like a two pounder. Oh my goodness, look at all the... There's so many, uh, whatever these things are. They're just everywhere through here. All right, we kind of uh, took a little lunch break and um, or got back at it. And um, this next section is a little bit different the way it, it's laid out. There's a lot of, still a lot of buffalo fish, but um, Aaron's already got a couple on top water now. I was kind of, we we're kind of waiting to see if that was going to start hitting. So I am going to switch to top water because I really want to get some. And um, I've gone through a couple sections where I saw some like follow, but they wouldn't hit. So maybe as it warms up, I think they're going to get a little more aggressive. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, all right. It's been a minute since I got me one. I think we're getting close to halfway. I switched back to the minnow, and guess what? I got a good one. I had, uh, I probably had three or four uh, smaller hits on the top water, and just, I don't know, I haven't really gotten a rhythm. That's the best one today. Beautiful spot. I uh, reeled the lure out and then paused and then started reeling and he came and hit it. 15 and a quarter. Good, healthy, good one there. Put him back in. All right, another good spot. I'm about to, I just changed to the uh, orange yum dinger. I'm gonna start seeing if it makes a difference. They're down, the, the fish are there. I don't know why they're not hitting that aggressively.
And there it is. The reason I use that lure. Dude, I got a good one. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna pull over here on the bank. Holy cow. Seventeen and a quarter, biggest fish of the day. Oh, look at his tail. They still bedding? Maybe. I'm not sure. All right, that was the third cast, I think, with the orange um, bubblegum, bubblegum yellow swirl, yum dinger. What a nice fish. Good spotted bass. Let's get it back in here. That's good. Ooh. All right, so uh, I guess I'm gonna be fishing the Yumdinger now. We'll start throwing it. If I catch another one, I said, uh, if I catch another one, Aaron, you gotta try it out. Cause I wanna know for sure if it's that color, if the, how much of a difference that color makes or what. Cause I, everything else I use caught some fish, but boom, that one caught one right away. And that's the biggest one of the day. I'm on the, basically on the Tennessee, Georgia border right here. Just looked up my, where I'm at. So this on the rest of this is gonna be in Georgia. Got about a couple more hours to go. Hopefully uh, a few more good fish coming. All right, I've been saving this one. <laughs> We're gonna hit some uh, Mountain Dew Energy Cherry Lime Lift. I've been wore down. I got a, uh, so I'm getting back in my kayak. I got, um, I fished yesterday, kayak the day before, kayaking about six miles today. I gotta get a, I gotta go drive three hours tonight to go kayak um, eight hours in a tournament tomorrow. So I don't have to do these things, but I already told some of the people I was wanting to. And uh, I've been really busy here recently catching a ton of fish and just having a blast doing it. So let's get back to it. Oh, there we go. He's got it. Aaron, you ready to switch? Dude, that's another solid one. Yeah, there's a white. Is it that orange one? That's what I saw back there, and I saw one uh, at the bridge we're taking out. Oh, you know, just another uh, 14 incher. That's the way it is. I don't, I don't know. I don't make the rules. I just figure out what the fish want, and that's what I use. There we go. That's a solid one there. Woo! We got a jumper, folks. Ah, uh, no, I don't need it. Look. Yeah. Oh, God. Ow, ow, ow. Easy. Holy cow. What am I doing that? It just went psycho. Goodness. So, um, I didn't, I didn't get Aaron all the way over to the Yumdinger yet. But he is using the Helger bite and he just caught a really nice, <laughs> and he caught a fish right now. We got a double up going on right now. If you're watching his video, you're seeing him catch a fish and uh, as I'm catching a fish. I'll take that, nice. There he is, there it is. That's a good one. Oh my goodness. These guys are so strong. There, there's several of them. There, there's like, some, there's, there's these uh, shoals right here where I'm at. He was down there. I just sunk it down there on it. It's a, no, it's a good spider bass. All right, let me get over here. I wanted to catch a Kusa bass, but I went back to the Yum Dinger. I knew that hole, that hole back there had some big ones. That's a good one. He swallowed that thing. All right, that's a good bass. It does look like it's about to rain. I can't tell. I'm gonna put him back in. Oh goodness. Yeah, he smacked me back. He, he inhaled that lure all the way down. 
All right, I'm just gonna flip it upside down because it's kind of tore up from catching a few fish. Put it back on there. This is a 1 16th ounce owner uh, jig head offset, whatever it's called, offset jig head. And uh, this, these hooks, I just, they pin the fish really good. Do I get him? Oh, oh my. Do I got him? Oh my goodness, this thing was taken off. Oh, dude, there's a big one right with it. He took it and he grabbed it and took off with it. They were fighting over it. That's nice. Yeah, the other one's the one uh, I'd love to get, but I'm happy getting these guys. Oh my! Oh yeah! The yeah, it's a good spider bass. Oh my god. I just got He bit so soft. I just put my other camera down. I'm gonna pull over and get a picture of him. This is exactly the same spot where I caught two. I caught a. I can't remember what it was. I caught two on back to back casts. It may be the same bass. This is a nice bass. All right, check out this guy here. We're gonna get a good look at him. It's 17 inches. I thought he was bigger than that, the way his body is. I caught a couple of last, it was a year ago or more, I think it was, when I came through here, through this section. So this is this is my, fa that's why it's my favorite river. It doesn't have smallmouth, but it's got some awesome Spotted bass and got kusa bass that I, I gotta get one of those. Okay, everyone. One last look. Beautiful fish right there. Let's let him go. Okay. Here he goes. <laughs> Little guy, he wanted a whole mouthful. Man, we're just we're just about back, and it's been an awesome trip. There, I just saw like a another orange carp. We saw two or three of those. There's just so much stuff going on up and down this river. We got some gar action up here that is insane. I think I got some underwater footage. I'm gonna get some uh, above the water. Just take a look at this right here. Look at this. Look at these gar. Look how many of them there are. Oh my. <laughs> I just afraid one's gonna slice me. It's crazy. I've never seen them doing like this. Look at that. That's a big old one right there. Oh my goodness. I'm afraid to get my hands on it. Let's get some underwater footage. Dude, the gar are crazy right here, Aaron. Really? Look at a look at this big old one. I might try to like I don't know how to get off. Like... It is wild. They're all just stacked up right here. Look at underneath you right now. That one right there is so big. Look at this big one. You're gonna go right over top of them. Go ahead. See what they do. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> You're gonna squish that big one. I hooked one. You're right over top. You got one hooked? I just gotta put my hands on this thing. Dude, look how big that thing is. Oh, there's a little one. I could probably pick him up. 
Oh my goodness, I caught it in my hand. Oh my. I just picked it. I want to pick this big one up. It is so big. Look at that. Look at this big one here. All right, put that back in there. Oh my goodness. This thing is massive. That thing is uh, is uh, at over four foot long. I don't I don't know if those are spots or long nose. That's so cool. And you got one hook? It's like I mean, it's hooked on his snout. Yeah, I don't he must have been at it. Well, he went right went right in front of him. He made him mad, probably. <laughs> that's that. that's crazy. Oh. Oh, now they're actually. I put my hand on that big one. I think it's so big. So I grab one. Oh, there we go. I put my glasses over it. They were on the bank, like, until you ran over them with your kayak. <laughs> It's really hard to imagine a better fishier looking stretch of a river or just a little bank spot on a river. And um, this just looks awesome. I've been to the spot one time in the summer and I've been trying to get back to it. It's two hours from my house. I've been wanting to do it. I've been, I've had it on my mind and I'm finally here. The water is a little high, I can tell, but it doesn't look like it's, it looks just got that like little tint of like from that winter rain it's got a good flow. I'm only, I'm, I'm going to fish off the bank a little bit, but I'm also planning on putting my kayak in here and just kind of fishing this hole. And I, maybe that hole right there, I can kind of fish a couple holes and I feel like I can get out of the water. Now there should be some bass in here, but there's also um, a fish in here that's a lot bigger than a bass. And I don't know if we're going to come across one today, but that would be awesome. But I'm just excited to get out here and explore. Here we go. Okay, I've made a few casts off the bank. I haven't seen anything. I know these fish are probably deeper as cold water, but um, we gotta get the kayak in here just to explore a little bit, just to be able to, cause some of them banks, that bank over there looks like it's got some calm pockets on it. And uh, there's a rock ledge up there. So um, even if we can't travel very far with the kayak, um, I think it's gonna be easy to get it in and just kind of fish around here for a while. I forgot my paddle. Let me go back to the truck. All right.
Oh my, what? Dude, I got something good. Oh my goodness. What a hook. What did I hook? Is it the fish I came for? Or what? Because I haven't got a bite. It is! No way. Let's see if we can land it. Let's see if we can land it because this is not the rod and reel I wanted to catch it on, but it is the fish we came for. It's not a big one. I think I can handle him. Yes, yes. Come here, come here, come here. Whoa! Jump right out of the net. No! Man, I couldn't get it in. Man, I really wanted to get a look at that fish. A little musky, you know, probably 25 inches long. Um, really pretty. I've been here for an hour, haven't got a bite. I've thrown the spinnerbait and the Helgramite going back and forth. Oh yeah, he bit my lure and must have pulled the hook off. He must have, oh, he almost cut my line too. Oh, I thought I had him. I tried to get him, he jumped out of my net. He makes another, another round. He was wrapped up, he spins around and the hook comes out. Well, maybe I should make another round, kind of fishing through again, but we hit the little hugger, mate. Oh, what is that? What is that? Did I hook another one? Cause this feels big. I think I did. See that? It's a big old fish. It's a big old fish no matter what. Oh, I'm afraid this is gonna break me off. Let me loosen my drag a little bit. This is bigger. I'm gonna loosen that drag up, let it kinda Ryan, so he didn't cut me off because I got it on my, I switched to the Yum Dinger. And I already went through all these areas. Oh man, I just want to see this thing. Don't come off on me. Please be hooked in the corner. He's going to take me downstream. He's going up. Good, stay upstream. Get in there. Dude, I can't get him up. I can't get this guy up. I don't want to go down there. This thing is big. This thing is big. I want to find a bank. If I can't even get him in the net, I want to take him to a bank somewhere to get him out. Man, I'm gonna start putting pressure on him in a minute. Oh, it's a musky. I just saw him come up. Well, I mean, I got this on my medium rod. And I am, I got pretty loose drag. I just don't want him breaking off or coming loose. He's getting me close to that current back there. I don't want to go down that current. Tell you what, he's just all over the place. 
this thing fits in my neck. Oh, there he is, there he is. Come on. Oh my, that's awesome. That's so cool, dude. That's cool, because that's what I came for. It's about to be the second one that's got to get off here, because he's pulling really hard. If he just doesn't have the hook in there right, or just turns with his gill. He's not a monster muskie, but he's a big fish. All right, he's about, I think he's getting ready. Oh, he's coming, he's coming. Oh. Quit twisting like that. When he twists, I'm afraid he's gonna catch it in his gill and he's gonna cut me off. He's coming, he's coming. Yes, yes, we got it. We got it in the net. All right. All right. Hang in there. Goodness, he about jumped in my lap. <laughs> Look at that. All right. Look came out. Look at that. He's thicker than I thought he was. Oh man. A musky. Tennessee musky right there. That is the reason I came here. Didn't think I'd catch him on a first one I hooked on a Hilgermite. This bigger one came on a Yumdinger. Oh man. Dude, that is really cool. One more look. Let's get him back in the water. Beautiful fish there. Oh, I don't know how long he is. He's at least 30 inches. It's not like a giant for a muskie, but maybe more than that, maybe like 33. Still, probably weighs 10 pounds or more. Well, that's what I came for. I came to this hole because I wanted to catch a muskie. And I thought I'd catch some smallmouth. I haven't got a single bass, any kind of bass bite. I haven't seen nothing else. Two muskie have bitten. And the first one was like 15 minutes ago. And then this one hit and I don't know how long it fought for. It was like five minute fight at least. But look what it did to that hook. Like it had just bit the hook on the side. And if it had taken a little bit deeper, it would have cut the line, but it must have just had the hook in there and it crunched it and like bent that hook out. Good thing this is winter time and um, it doesn't put so much stress on them. And you can tell these fish, I've caught um, pike before and they do the same kind of thing. They'll, after the fight, they'll just kind of, you just let them go and they just sit right there. The muskie did the same thing. He, he swam over the bank, just sat right there for a while you know, gather themselves, then he swam back up in the deep. Man, that was really cool. Really cool to see these fish and be able to target them and actually catch one. Not the way I thought. I've been throwing a spinnerbait, then I threw a topwater. Ended up getting both of them on um, soft plastics. And that's another thing, I've, the way I've caught pike before, I've, I've caught more of them on like soft plastics than I have on like the flashier or the louder baits. Whew, I've been here about an hour and a half and it was worth it, worth the two hour drive and just a fish for an hour and a half just to be able to land that fish right there. Oh man, I almost stopped early again. I was getting ready to stop fishing after an hour and 10 minutes. And then I got a little bite from that first one that came off. Kind of thought, okay, let's change things up a little bit. All these saw these um, calm banks that I'd fished before, I figured this is where the muskie were, but the spinnerbait and topwater, nothing that, you know, they didn't come up and get it. Throw the umdinger, I get one and land one. I'm trying to figure out how to do the next one. What do I need to fish with now?
Dude, check that out. I've been through here one time before. Never knew it was there. Let's go check that out. Man, it's coming down fast. Let's go look at that waterfall. I'm always got to keep exploring. I'm always looking for that next place to go, just like where I went today. Dude, it was so cool. Uh, landing that one muskie and uh, seeing that other one. I fished there maybe two and a half hours. Uh, I kind of just kept circling the same big hole like four times. And I'm like, all right, I've gone around. Surprised I didn't catch any bass there, but this water up here is, I'm up a little higher elevation and um, it's probably a little colder, but we'll end it out exploring this, just go over here and look at this waterfall. And uh, I'm just kind of going down this road, just kind of looking for different accesses and just different waterways. And that's how I found this one like six months ago. It took me six months to come to it. So let's check out this waterfall. different about this waterfall where's the water going i thought i walked down to this like bed you think there'd be water flowing i guess it goes i think it goes underground over there got this giant waterfall there's no water it's not even a pool it's like two foot deep and then the water goes back into the ground I am ready to go today. Do some kayaking. I'm gonna head up to Knoxville, Tennessee, meet up with Josh. Been trying to get up with him. He catches, he does a lot of kayaking, catches a lot of big smallmouth, and just has fun fishing. And uh, I love fishing people that just enjoy fishing. We've been trying to work this out for a while, so I'm gonna head up that way. Uh, we're gonna get together and hopefully get on a lot of fish. All right, we're down here uh, loading up our kayaks, just pulling down the hill. We're gonna go about four miles yep. down the river awesome. here. The water is looking pretty good, maybe just a little high from a lot of rain we had this spring. But uh, thanks to Josh for inviting me out. So we're gonna go out here and get some, it looks good, and hopefully we can get some fish. Get over there. Oh, there goes that. <laughs> I remember doing this. Seems so much easier. <laughs> I thought mine was heavy until we lifted up yours. <laughs> oh, we got them in the water. Right, let's get downstream. Oh, this dude. Ice snagged. <laughs> oh, <that's so> <laughs> I was like, he got a huge one. Alright, let's get situated here. Yeah, and there's a guy on the bank. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. got him. Woo! There's the first one. What? Boom, right on a fish. Well, I've been out here about 20 minutes just trying to really get going here. A little slack water out of the current. Followed up a little swim bait that I like using a lot. Nice little smallmouth. I'm hoping to catch a bunch, but um, I, I, there's some big ones in here, but you know, I love just catching anything I can catch. Boom! There's one. Yeah. Oh, white bass. <laughs> it felt really big. Well, my second fish is not what I expected, but he hammered it. When I hooked it, I was like, wow, that's something. White bass though, it's a solid white bass. <laughs> he hammered the thing. You never know what you get when you hit, when these things hit. They feel so big.
There's one. A little small mouth. There we go. All right. I've been, it's been about two hours. Just caught that white bass. Huh? Yeah. Just caught, uh, we've had about two hours. I've switched lures and then I switched back to the swim bait. Caught that white bass right back there. And then another nice little small mouth. It's been kind of slow, but we're getting to some deeper water and hopefully it'll start picking up. There's one. Oh yeah. No, yeah, not bad. A little bit bigger than the last one. On the Helgramite. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Oh, jump right in the boat. Oh yeah, that's not a bad fish. It's the biggest one so far. It's probably around a pound. I uh, just fished some of the slack water, and I, I've been seeing some smallmouth follow actually recently. And not hit, so I, I I threw in here with the Helgramite and got this one. He picked what, what are the bird going on over here? Crane's being annoying. All right, let's maybe we can get on some consistency. That's a nice fish. I do. I, I like that guy. All right, get in there. There he is. Yeah. Good one. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Don't come off, don't come off. Oh, nice. Where's my net? Ah. I lose here. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Woo! That's a nice fish. All right, let me get this guy. He's no giant, giant, but nice fish. Big old bronze back. That's a good fish. I'm gonna weigh him. He's, he's like, a, he got a hump. Look at big old hump he's got there. <laughs> They're biting it really soft, and, and that's why I lost that one over there. I felt this one barely bite. I just, yeah, I, think right. I just set the hook. 2.07, so. That's a nice fish. Two pounds even. Man, this is a really cool area over here, but there's this goose on the nest right there. We're gonna go check out this little waterfall area. He looks mean too. Oh. Wow, that's really cool. Oh, we ought to get something off of this now. That's really cool right there. Got another little spillway on the other side. This is a really cool place on this river. It's all, I don't know what this is. Some kind of old dam. Maybe it's a mill. It must have been some kind of old mill back in the day, but a couple spillways here. Josh's over there fishing off that one, but a really cool little area. Yep. Got one. He's in the current. Nice smallmouth. I figured they got used to seeing people, but if they're in that current, they can't really see that well. They're just waiting for something to drift by. Uh, he pecked at it the first time. Second time I got it. He's got a little mouth, big body. This dude's eating good. Nice fish. That's, that's an awesome place to come. Yeah. <laughs> All right, how come I get them done? Thanks Josh over there, bring me again. Well, this old uh, dam system here, rather, rather uh, is really cool. Where the river splits and half of it goes this way. We came down half, then we're gonna go back around, go the other half. We really have come a lot of the way of our trip, but we're probably gonna take our time. And the next 
next stretch, you know, probably a few hours through here, but finally started picking up some fish, some beautiful scenery, beautiful stuff around here. So this is actually this really turned out to be a really good day. There it is. Yeah. Oh, he's fighter. Little one. Come on one up here. Beautiful little small mouth. Another one about the same size. A lot, seems like a lot of them this size, but man, they're fun to catch. But this one I actually missed on the swim bait. He bit the end of it, followed up with a Helgramite and got him. The Helgramite is definitely getting the work done in these calm pockets, in calm places. Nice little fish right there. Yeah! That's a good fish right there. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. He's staying down. Might be as big as that one I caught earlier. Nice bass. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Boom! About another two pounder. I don't know. I keep going back and forth between lures. And then when I go back to Helgramite, I keep catching fish. But this is in a real slack water area. Just let it sink. And I was actually messing around. I think I was re I paddled. Then when I started reeling it in, he had it in his mouth. Just set the hook on him. They When they eat this thing, they'll eat it really soft. They just hit it really soft and just kind of hold on to it. He may not be two pounds, but he's pretty close. That's a pretty fish. Oh man, that kind of made the day right there. We're, I think we're kind of getting close to the end, but the fishing hasn't been on fire, but it's been pretty good. You can't be too unhappy catching some fish like this. No. Man, this ledger looks so good. There he is, there he is. I knew that'd be something off that ledge. Solid. Pretty, yeah, pretty good. No, no giant, but pretty good. I just came through here with that purple one. I didn't catch anything. Got out, came back with the natural color Helgramite, and boom! Oh, hold on, don't come off. Yeah, I'll take that guy all day. Uh, we're getting close to the end here. I'm just kind of getting out and walking the bank. I switched back to the natural colored Helgramite. Had to hit this little, uh, it's like a rocky ledge right here. And uh, got this guy. You know, the, I could catch these guys all day. I'm not used to catching, I don't catch a lot of smallmouth down where I'm at, but I plan to fish a lot more rivers and creeks where there's smallmouth. And, you know, a little pound and a half guy like this is just a blast to catch, which people that fish smallmouth know that already, but really pretty fish right there. Okay. Say goodbye. Always bite. Take it. Oh, I got him. Oh, no, I didn't. He had it. He was. I knew there'd be a fish on his ledge. He had it in his mouth. I didn't even know. I felt a, t a little tug. I thought it was a little fish. That was, that was a good fish. Didn't set the hook on it because I, did, I didn't know he was had it in his mouth. My goodness. That was a good fish. Right where I said it would be. All right, we'll come back. We'll come back. We'll drift down a little bit and come back up. Sometimes they when they bite this Helgramite, which I, I ain't getting paid to say this, but I've caught a lot of fish from the Helgramite, I know is ain't nothing I'm good at fishing, just having the right lure. Of course, you gotta put it in the right spot and fish it the right way, but uh, sometimes the right lure really makes a difference. And they love this Helgramite, they'll bite it and just, lot, yeah. Good fish, good fish. Oh, 
I don't even see this fish yet. Dude, this is a good fish. Oh, yes. I mean, my, no. Oh. He wasn't a giant, but he was at least two pounds. Ah, it came off right when I'm trying to scoop him. Two fish. I don't know if it's the same one or not, but it was right in the same area. So that, like I was saying, oh, that hugger mite, they just bite it really soft. I'm using a light pole. I should use a little bit stiffer pole probably. But um, I need a light line to catch it, let, let it sink really slow. Dude, I'm catching another one. There, there's going to be a fish here. <laughs> Dude, that's what you got to do. I'm so, now they, they come off, you got to set that hook. Now, let's just set it into a log or something. I don't know what it's into. All right, I think I got something figured out here. We are actually, what time is it? It's 6.15. We are actually about to get done. Like, we, we did a little bit. It's kind of slow at spots, real slow. As we got down to these rocky ledges, a little bit calmer water, I started fishing that Helger mite. And man, I've had like eight hits in the last 30 minutes probably. And I've lost half of them. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go back to this rock ledge and we're gonna go on downstream a little ways. It's kind of calm, float through there. I feel like I'm gonna get some fish. Yeah, I thought he was two and a half, yeah. Good fish right there. Yeah. There he is. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> Dude, we we are on them. Dude. Yeah. We found out that we figured the lures. We're at the right time of the day. We're on some fish. That's another pound and a half bass. Just and we've we've had like 10 bites in the last 45 minutes. He just caught a two and a half pound one. Another pound and a half smallmouth. Dude, they are hitting right now. <laughs> Dude, they are on. Oh, he jumped into my boat. That is awesome. He jumped into my boat. They're on fire right now. Dude, this is awesome. I wish I had a, uh, my scale. Just see if the links were. Let me weigh one more. And then if I won't weigh anymore, unless I get a big one. This one, I'm um, saying close to two pounds. 1.8 or 9, something like that. Just under two pounds. Chunk of a smallmouth. This is crazy. I don't know how many more we're gonna catch, but they are hitting. It was, it was uh, 10 minutes after I caught that last one. There he is. Good fish, good fish. Man, these guys are hammering it. Hammering it. Oh. This is crazy. Dude, that's a uh, that's two pounds. All these guys are just chunks. Oh my goodness, I'm not even turning the other camera on. I gotta save the battery on it. <laughs> Look at that fish. Man, it's awesome. This last hour, hour and a half has been ridiculous. I got one. Didn't even know he's on there. Oh, my hand's cramping. That's how many fish I've reeled in. Just a, another fish, you know. No, it's just another smallmouth. That's a little guy. Come on. Come on now. That one more time. Ah, uh, I gotta hit that edge over there where that creek comes up one more time. I gotta do it. Got to do it. There he 
There he is. I knew it. Dude. This is a beast. <laughs> I had to come back this ledge one more time. I, I couldn't pass it up. And, it, and that's why. <laughs> that's why I had to come back to this ledge. This is where I missed a big one. This may be the one, one of the ones I missed, I don't know. But uh, another two pound smallmouth. Just a fighting machine. Dude, what a day this has turned out to be. All right, putting them back, back in the water. <laughs> Crazy. There he is, there he is. Goodness. Woo! Maybe the, this may be the biggest one. Oh, this is a good one. Get in that net. Yeah. I could be here all night. We gotta quit sometime. We're we're not, we're not gonna fish till the bite stops. We're just gonna have to leave because the bite hasn't stopped on the Helgramite. That's a chunky. They are killing this Helgramite. Let's weigh this one. This may be the biggest one of the day. Ah, same thing, 2.1. Another one. I, I, this is at least like five where I've caught right at two pounds. Just you can't ask for <laughs> can't ask for much better vision than that. This is really good. First time being on this river. Uh, we've been out here. What time is it? About six or seven hours. Mm, okay, that's good. All right, a couple little photo Dude, that's pictures. Still such a good smiley, yeah. man. <laughs> Hey, it turned out good. I'm glad. Yeah. <laughs> from what is, yeah, from the first three hours. Till, till the last, like, two yeah, hours, two hours. What a the difference. Helgramite, the Helgramite is really the deal up here. Man, no doubt. Get it in those rocks. Well, we're back out of the water. My knees are burnt. Legs are red. It's going to hurt tonight. Uh, Josh over here really did good, put me on the fish, and uh, I kind of figured out something there at the end. And like the last two hours, man, I was catching a bunch of them. It was awesome. It probably turned out being one of my best days ever, like catching quality smallmouth. I caught, probably caught five that were uh, around two pounds, and that's that's pretty cool. So we're definitely going to have to get back together. Be sure and go check out his channel. He, he kayaks and bass fishes up here a lot. He's, he's, I love his kayak setup, and um, he, he knows what he's doing. So he catches a lot of good quality fish. I'll leave the information and everything like that below. Same thing. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, we're going to load these up, go... Uh, Take his back to his kayak. I'm going to head back home. Appreciate it. What's up everybody? I'm on my way to my favorite river. It's a beautiful day out here. This water should be crystal clear. I haven't fished it yet this year. I was on my way here one time and then I got here and it was muddy. Don't think it's rained. Should be awesome. I'm gonna actually kayak a section of it. Well, this is a, a change of events. There is six trucks here, all from out of state, which I'm, it's all from Georgia, pretty much. Kayaking, because they all have kayak ramps. Don't know how much fishing they're doing, and I don't even know if they're going to the section I'm going through, so it doesn't really matter. It's just I've never seen so many people here going down this uh, area. Little big old spotted bass. Dude, there's a big spot right underneath me. 
Well, it's really easy to see why this is my favorite river. First off, it's like 20 minutes from my house. Second, it's it's so clear. There's so many fish in here right now during springtime. I've seen big gar, buffalo, drum, and I just saw a big spotted bass. There's also coosa bass in here. So I'm gonna start out with a little swim bait, just, just trying to see what I can catch. We're gonna float down, but I gotta come back up. So it's a, it's not just a one-way flow. I gotta work my way back up. So I brought my smaller kayak today to make it a little easier. It is a little windy out here. It's a little windier than I thought. So hopefully it doesn't mess with the audio and mess with the fishing too much. <laughs> that is the tiniest spotted bass. Is that a spot or a coosa? It's a coosa bass, so. All right. I guess that counts as my first fish. Kusa bass number two. This is more respectable. This is really pretty. Oh my goodness. That's a giant gar right there. Holy cow. I went up, took off up river. That thing was a giant. I think these are all um, long nose. And we made really good time, which is not a good thing, but that means the water's flowing pretty good. And we're down at the, the big deep hole that we're gonna fish before we head back up. Let me get around this tree real quick. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, it's a good fish. There's a light tap. There's another one underneath it. I see it. Oh, it's good. It's good. good. That's a good bass right there. Check out his gill over here. It's missing part of it. But it's a healthy spotted bass. 16 and a half inches long. Let's go ahead and get it back in the water. Really pretty fish there. Yep, little spot or a nice spot. We've only been out an hour and 22 minutes. Let's, uh, let's release this fish. That's the kind of fish that I like to get in here. That's a, a good 16, over 16 inches. 15 inches is my marker for like a good sized fish out of these smaller type rivers, especially when you're fishing for spots or smallmouth. That was a 16 and a half. And there was another one that was probably the same size right with it. They do that, they try to travel in pairs here. And that was on a little yum dinger. So um, I'm kind of mixing through a few things, but mainly the bigger fish are in this big hole here. Just gotta get them out of it. Oh, he's back. Let's go over there. Oh, 
Wow. That's another good one. Oh, yeah, he's dogging it. That's a good one. Wow, he may... Oh, is he... Oh, oh, this thing is huge. It's a huge spotted bass. It could be a PB. Oh, no, no, no. I can't let him get in the trees. Oh, my goodness. I... Oh, my goodness. This is a monster. Dude. He is so strong. What did they not bring my net? Oh my goodness. Dude, I can't get on it. Oh, this thing is giant. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a giant. Look at that. That is a monster. Man, I thought this camera was on, wasn't on. Luckily, the back one's on. Look at the size of this bass. Giant spotted bass. Absolutely giant. 22 inches long with his mouth closed. Alright, I can't get a, I can't get into it. I really close his mouth, but he was, he was touching 22 inches. Look how big his body is. This is river fishing for you. You don't know what's going to happen, where you're going to catch, where you're going to get blowed into. Let's try to get a video of this right here. <laughs> Five pound, seven ounce. With, uh, with the grippers, they're two ounces, so that's five pounds and five ounces. Let's redo it one time. Same thing, five, seven, so. Five pounds, five ounce, just an ounce under a five and a half. That's a five and a half pound spotted bass. Oh my goodness. Dude, I hopefully this is showing up good on this camera. This thing is so monstrous. Time to let it go. Oh my, it's a crazy what's in these waters. All right, you're free this time. As I get pushed away again. Hold on, come here. All right, he's gonna take a second. Oh, he's ready. There he goes, come on. There you go, there you go. Oh my goodness. Hopefully this camera showed up really clear. I thought it was on earlier and it wasn't on. I was talking to it. Oh, that was a fight. I, I just caught that other one, let it go, made like one cast, flip it over to the other bank. There's a fish right underneath me. And he just thumped it. I didn't know he was big till he, he turned and just started taking off. Is that the same fish right underneath me? There's one right there. Oh, that, that's his mate. There's a pair of them. He was waiting on me the whole time, I guess. It just went under this log and swam back off together two giants. The other one looks equally as big. Five and a half pound spotted bass. I broke a five pound out of a river. <laughs> a small river too. Oh man. All right. I got it. That's like, that's so cool. I've caught a couple over four. That is just a giant. So I got a, my favorite color yumdinger. I broke my PB largemouth with the same color. Now spotted bass. And this is a, uh, the yellow lemon bubblegum swirl or whatever. And it was a five inch one and I just cut an inch off to make it a four inch one. Fish like a Ned rig. And that thing smoked it. Drum or Another good one. Oh my. 
not near as big, but this is another really good spotted bass. This would have made the day until that other one hit. Oh, the wind's blowing me around, but that's a nice fish. That's the kind of fish I'm usually going for. That's a 15 inch. 15 inch spotted bass. And that's a little one today. There's a whole wheel and tire. That's a that's a Chevy six lug Z71. Chevy wheel and tire right there. Almost want to take it home. But I ain't carrying it out of here. Look how nice everything is looking today. So clear, so green. Just, I've been seeing all kinds of fish swimming around. Well, it's a bit windy out here, but just beautiful out. Uh, I've only been out for about two hours. This is the stopping point. I'm gonna work my way back up. The wind's kind of blowing me around crazy i cannot believe i caught that big fish that was so amazing so unexpected something that big in here i was hoping for like maybe a three pounder <laughs> i brought some snacks just ate those and um hopefully the wind isn't too big a problem with the noise i got a new wind mic coming in because my old one got messed up but i don't even care this is just awesome day i don't even care if the footage turns out but i think we might catch another one or two on the way back up Oh, good fish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no, no, get out of there. On the other side. There's a drum down there underneath me. Pretty fish. Pretty fish. Not done just yet. Working my way back to the front of this pool. Another, uh, that's probably a 13, but fat little spotted bass on the umdinger. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, it came off. I was pulling it across that current and it came and hit it. There was another one with it too. I didn't know they'd be in that part of the water. That was really cool to see. I watched that fish come hit it. Oh, this is where the fun, the easy, this is where the easy part ends and the more difficult part Working your way back upstream. I gotta find more places to take out and people drop me off where I can do longer floats. But this is a float I can do. I can drive down here, fish my, at my leisure and just work my way back up to my truck. I'll have to drag some and then the deeper sections paddle some. It's a little bit of work, but it's worth it, especially for what happened today.
what a day this turned out to be. This is uh, probably two, three hours after I've got done fishing. I've been home, dropped off my kayak, and I I'm able to have that smaller, that's the um, Native Slayer. It's a 10 foot kayak, and um, it's a lot lighter weight than my Old Town, which is a 12 foot. I mean, obviously it's two foot shorter. And uh, whenever I get to do, like going into tighter situations, I like it being a little bit lighter. It's not near as stable and like not as big as my Old Town when I'm out in the lake. I'm even gonna look at getting a different kayak. I don't know. I haven't really come to the conclusion on like the best one for getting in streams and rivers, but also light enough to be able to move it around and harder to get in areas. I reviewed the footage on my GoPro and for, sometimes it's hard for me to, uh, to show the fish and to, to get across how big it is, but I like when I lay it on the board. When you lay it on the board, you can get a, with this mouth closed and you see how big its body is. And that thing was touching 22 inches. It's just a monster and i actually was very surprised for that one for one that big in that river now i mean i would think yeah maybe a few of them in there you know i've caught a few, several over 18 but a 22 is just a monster and those are alabama spotted bass now alabama spotted bass get a little bit bigger than the kentucky spotted bass and this is a river that they're native to so and they of course they they go down into georgia a lot and they get a lot they get a lot bigger in georgia so this is a you know one of the Alabama ones, but still it's just a giant, five pounds, five ounces. The state record is seven pounds, so barely a pound and a half uh, off the state record, which is a long ways off, but still you can. That's, that's still a really big fish. One more funny thing um, today, I uh, I had my alarm set for four o'clock in the morning. I was supposed to get up and go fishing with some guys about two and a half hours away. Well, the alarm never went off because it's actually set for four p.m. I end up getting up at like nine or 10, take my time, go down and kayak at 11, end up catching biggest spotted bass in my life. The biggest bass I've ever caught out of a river and definitely the strongest bass that I've ever caught. It just took, got in that current and it was pulling drag and just bending over and just, just taking off. And like, I could not control it. Um, the reel I was using, I had, um, I think an eight pound liter, 10 pound braid and it was a Johnny Morris reel. They're about $109. And that's something I've learned to get at least that quality reel. I've had uh, any, like a year, two years ago, that fish would have broke me off for sure. Cause I wouldn't have had a good enough reel with a smooth enough drag and been prepared for it. Cause I've had big fish like that break me off. Hopefully I'm starting to understand some of this stuff and starting to get better at it. And be whenever those do, when those big fish do hit, you're ready for them. Never would have thought I would have caught one that big out of there you know, maybe a three, three and a half pound, but yeah, that was a, uh, that's something to remember. And just uh, one of those days when everything didn't go right, but then it actually did go right. Yeah, oh, another one, bigger. He's bigger. Holy cow, this guy's strong. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a big one. That's a really good one. Josh. Yo. He's back there. What a day. This is it. This is, this is the time. Bugs are out. You see these bugs flying around. Everything's getting green. It's April. It's time for some river floats. The water's low. I've never kayaked this river when the water's low. It's gonna be a blast. Oh, this water is cold, clear, it's shallow. Josh is gonna be using the uh, Bonafide RVR. I'm in the Crescent Shoaly. I've, I've been able to use that kayak once and I wanted him to try it out. He's gonna do kind of a test on it, see how he likes it. Kind of compare them to these kayaks. So well, that's what these kayaks are made for, skinny water, shallow stuff. And uh, today we're chasing some big smallmouth. Any smallmouth will be great. Um, the sun's up, it's gonna be bright. I'm not sure how the bite's gonna be, but I'm excited to get started. There. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. 
Come on, Smiley. I got my drag a little loose, but he's a nice fish. Nice, nice. Oh, yeah. Number one right there, beautiful brown fish. About 13 and a half. I'll try to get a picture, but he went to close his mouth. Uh, it's, in a, it's in a good area where the current is flowing. He came over and smacked it. There's a lot of carp in here. And catfish. There's all kinds of fish in here. Let's get this guy back in the water. Uh, just the one. Yeah, I got one fish. So. Is it in kind of a faster current like this? What? And about two feet deep. And I threw it out there, was reeling it in, and I saw him chase it down and hit it. And there was uh, two or three more followed it. That's why I wish I had the anchor. I, I didn't drop it. I'm, I need to rig up an anchor on there. Okay, just. Yeah. There's one. Oh, he's a nice one, I think. I know. <laughs> he is staying out there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the same kind of current, like I was saying. Oh, nice. That's a nice fish. Come here. Woo. Yeah. Good start. All right, I was drifting that one. That's a pretty fish. What do you think, a 15 incher right there? He's, he's bigger than that last one. Another one on the bubblegum yellow swirl. All right, that was worth a stop. Man, that's a pretty fish right there. Let's get some more of those. Yeah, I got plenty of these. If this is uh, all we can get bites on. Yeah. Oh, another one. Bigger. He's bigger. Oh, he's a big one. Oh, my. Oh, my God. <laughs> you see that jump? Dude, this may be an 18, 19 incher and fat. Holy cow, it's a big one. Oh, man. I, oh, my. Dude, this is like a three and a half pounder. I got to weigh this guy. It's a good thing we got out. Josh said there's a spot down here by the Isle Scout and Cast. We're trying to get drone footage. I'm not thinking much of really catching fish. I catch that one, and I'm like, all right. Then, boom, this guy is a nice fish. Holy cow. It's like a fly. This, I gotta get this. This, this is gonna be an intro right here. It better not come off. Holy cow, this guy's strong. Oh, dude, he might be a 20 incher. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, look out. I was bleeding. Oh man, that is a jumbo. Okay. Oh my, the bubblegum yellow swirl. Look at that. That is a nice smolly. He was bleeding. I don't know why he was bleeding a little bit. Um, I hooked him at the top of the mouth, but it looks like it stopped. Dude. Dude, okay. that is a big old, he's 19 inches with his mouth closed. Dude, what a beast, look at that, for a river fish. Oh, uh, I don't know what it weighs, neither one of us had our scales. Uh, I had my little one, I, I think I left it in my bag. I'll have to search for it, because if I get another one like this, uh, that's going, it was 19 inches with the mouth closed. Back up a little bit. Well, I just think mine's on wide view, I guess is why I'm used to that. 
Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> Woo! Boom. Now I gotta tie on a leader because I just broke off. Look at him sitting there. Mine's on narrow view. Or, uh. Where are you yeah. That's a big one. Look at that. Goodbye, Mr. Smalley. We're fishing right above this like this shoal here because it's got it's current and a little bit of depth. So we're gonna bring our kayaks over here and just fish off this ledge. Then that was two, and then Josh just broke off on one. There's no telling what could be in there. Kind of a noisy little area. A lot of water flowing. We know there's some big ones in there. I'm gonna throw a spinnerbait a couple times, then we'll go back with the Yumdinger. And we'll just kind of work this area for a little while. That was two catches like pretty quick. So not really sure how many boom first cast with the spinnerbait dude they are loaded in there another big one holy cow no way insane that is not Josh <laughs> First cast of the spinnerbait. Oh my goodness, it's on. Holy cow, we have to stay here all day. Eighteen incher. Dude, I can't believe that. Those three out there. And then that one first cast on spinnerbait. <laughs> oh, they're putting up such a fight. They're like dead afterwards. That is awesome. Beautiful fish. All right, it's 12 o'clock. We really got to start moving, but I also got to get my snacks in. We caught, I caught three fish out there, caught one earlier. We really haven't gone very far, but we, we don't have all day. We got to get back and at least like four and a half hours and we probably got uh seven or eight miles to go So much stuff on the top. I'm trying to throw this uh, chopper and I keep getting uh, grass. Oh, good it's like the all that stuff's pushed over here. But this looks perfect ambush. I got these rock ledges. Little... <laughs> oh yeah. He nailed that thing. There's a top water effect. Dude, he hit that so hard. This dude was not playing around. We got a little calmer section. And me and Josh, Josh was talking about top water. I think he said he had a hit on one. And I was like, I had this little chopper ready to go. And this guy just crushed it. So beautiful. Dude, what a day it's been. Get some good stripes hunting. Look how clear this water is. It's wild. Oh! I 
throwing this big swim bait, and uh, I did have a follow. Hmm, maybe I should throw a glide bait. Oh, holy cow! First cast on a glide bait. On a glide bait. First cast off those rocks. <laughs> I'm getting more and more confidence in this thing. We go over here and land this guy. Oh! They came off. I was trying to. Get a good picture of it. Dude, first cast, he came up off these rocks and just smoked it. I was like six or seven turns in. All right, I got the chest camera on so we can maybe see more of this. If I catch another one, who knows? Um, we'll try. Ooh. There is a lot. I don't know if I just cast in the right area or what. I ain't got a bite from nothing else in a while. Look, I'm right over, oh, there's one. Dude, there's a nice smallmouth cruising right there. Let's see if he wants a bait. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, come on. He wants it, he wants it. Oh, he hit it, he hit it. Yeah, I got a big one on it. Oh, he hit it twice. He looks like he's hungry though. Double. He's right here where my lure is. Throw in there ahead of it. He looks hungry. Woo, it's been a little while. It's been a while since I've caught a fish. I had that one on the glide that hit, and then I had a couple hit it. Fat little dude. We've seen a lot. There's a lot of them in here, that's for sure. It's just finding the right current, I think. There's another glide bait one. We gotta land this guy and get a picture of him. All right, they was, he was just under 16 inches. Hit him on that uh, S waiver, the smaller one. I just found it today. I, I couldn't figure out where I'd lost it. And I found it in a box, so pretty small mouth. Um, I've been working both lures, or, all the lures, you know, different ones, spinnerbait, buzzbait, helgramite, and um, this, the S waiver has got, like that one, I didn't even see that one hit, so that's the first one I've caught and didn't hit, or didn't see it. I've had a few other follows, but we don't have a lot of time left, so some of these places, the fish just aren't hitting aggressively, except for a couple spots, and that's kind of normal in these long rivers. You're going to have sec sections where it's dead, and then sections where they're just feeding and um i'm hoping to get a couple more that, that's a nice one i've had a pretty fun day even though it's been kind of slow and with little spurts but the fish i caught earlier and then that guy right there now i'm like oh just a 16 inch those those are those are good fish
There's another one. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh. Oh, that's a big one. That's a really good one. Dude, this lure is getting the work done. I cannot believe it. That's a nice one. Oh, if I have my net, keep him up right now. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, dude. Man. I know, I know it's my fault. I didn't bring the net. I could have just flipped him in a boat, I guess, but then I didn't want to flip him in with all these hooks. That was at least an 18 inch small mouth. That's probably a three pounder, maybe bigger than 18. This is a, uh, this is kind of cool though. I, I, I'm surprised of all these hits. How far away from that? We get close. Right around the corner. Yeah, right in the Pretty close. I got a hole right here on the right I want to get. On the right? Yeah. On the left. On the right. I'm gonna, I guess I'll go down the left and go. If you didn't know it, I love river floats and I'm getting more and more addicted to them. And I'm even scouting out, thinking about doing one tomorrow um, that I wasn't even planning on doing. Had a blast today. We had some really good spurts and then some really slow spurts. And, and I got like my three biggest fish, basically like three casts in a row, I think. I just started messing around with that glide bait because it was kind of slow, but I knew there was, but we saw fish, started getting some bites. Probably would, I would have landed a couple of those big ones if I had my net, but I didn't want to get a chance of taking all those hooks to the hand. Uh, just an awesome day. Still, the biggest fish came on that small little yum uh, Helgramite. That's the uh, bubblegum lemon swirl, uh, a little three inch yum Helgramite. That cat that caught the biggest fish, and that 19 incher was huge. He had a big body to it, so th that one catch alone makes the whole day. That was really awesome. This is the time when I just want to be out and exploring and floating every little bit of river, every river around me, all the ones I already know, new ones, because this is the time when fish are feeding and just getting aggressive. And it could be hit or miss, and every river is a little bit different. I, you don't all, you're not always gonna go out there and just wear them out, but I do think you have a good chance of catching some of those big ones and just having a great day if you hit it right. I'm gonna decide uh, here in a minute what I'm gonna do tomorrow, but I'm definitely gonna be doing a lot of kayaking, and that was a bigger river. Uh, I'm gonna try to do some skin, a lot of skinnier rivers. I already got a lot of trips coming up, and um, I think you're gonna be excited. At least I'm excited about it, so hope you're excited about it. Thanks for watching, and I uh, appreciate all the support. I'm so ready for this kayak fishing trip adventure. Look at this, the water looks really nice. This is gonna be a fun trip. Going for some smallmouth, uh, also maybe some musky. I don't know how much I'm gonna go for them. They're in this water. This is the same river I caught one last year. So could we do it two times in a row? I don't know. Tyler Reed is meeting up with me, Reed Angling. And he just got a new kayak. So we're gonna get out here and float this river. The water's got a good flow to it, but it's pretty clear. It, uh, it's up a little bit from the rain, but we got a long trip anyway, so this good float ought to be fine. Let's get in the water. And there he goes. Oh, look at that. Look at him showing off his new kayak look he just me. got. <laughs> I'm a yacker now. <laughs> all right, we are getting loaded up. It will finally loaded up. We got all our gear. Me and my old town over here, you know. He got a new Hobie. This is his first time getting it out, so look at this water. It looks so good. After all, all of this work and getting everything, all your gear loaded up, you're just ready to get out and start floating. So let's get to it. I don't know anything, John. No stuff. Fish on. On the spinner. What? No way. I didn't think I was going to get a smallmouth on the spinner right away. Dude, he crushed that thing. Dude, what a start. A couple minutes in. This is the uh, Pikey uh, spinner with a wire leader. I was throwing in case, you know, for musky. And uh, the smallmouth just hammered it. What a way to get going. This is just a... Dude, this is one of those places you just enjoy 
floating down it. Just, everything's so great and so green, it just looks beautiful. Beautiful Tennessee fishing. There's a fish. What we got here? The old Rocky Bass. Fish number two. Little rut bass. Coming in a little rock bass. We get a little activity. Oh, hold on. Hold on. There's a good fish. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Another rock bass. Goodness. I'm going to rack up on these guys. They're little ones, too. It's dark colored. I'm just going back and forth. I'll throw the spinnerbait for a while. Then I'll throw the Helga mat for a while. I'm trying to find smallmouth, but also if I can get a muskie, you know, that'd obviously be awesome. But catching these rock bass. All right, you gotta give me a little break, snack. All right, it's break time. I know I'm only an hour and 16 minutes in, but uh, we got started kind of late, so this is lunch. And while I eat lunch here, I'll show you a few shots of the scenery of Tennessee. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Musky follow, musky follow. No, he was on it. He was on it for just a second. No, I didn't look real big, but I just kind of twitched it. He's right there. I just thought to cast over there on the other side. He was just at his tail for a minute. Two hours in, first musky follow on the pikey. I just barely saw him. The water's a little dingy. So I come up and at it, and I thought he was—I thought he might bite it. I don't know, and he, and he went back away. Cast a few times in there. Ooh, that was exciting. Oh, I'm gonna bite. Hope it took a pinch. No, it didn't. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Got him. <laughs> I watched this rock bass swim up. I dropped the lure back down and watched him eat it. Let's go. Rock bass, yeah. It's going to be a rock bass stay for me. Oh, rock bass. <laughs> I wonder how many rock bass are on this rock ledge here. <laughs> Another one. Uh, 
There we go. What? Oh, it's a rock bass. Thought that was a smaller for sure. Put that one good. Well, they're keeping us entertained. Dude, musky underneath me. No. He's under my kayak. Bigger than any bass I've caught. He, he, he turned, he came up straight and then he turned and went underneath my kayak. Well, that was wild. I just saw a kayak, a uh, musky. He was just swimming upstream and I reached for a different lure and then he um he went underneath my kayak and I don't know where he went. Three hours in, I just saw my second muskie of the trip and he was just was cruising. We've caught a bunch of rock bass. Still can't figure out any smallmouth pattern, but I'm gonna eat a ham sandwich and that'll make me feel better. Dude, these kayakers gotta have some strong legs. <laughs> yeah, this thing flies. <laughs> oh! What is that? Is that smallmouth? Yay! A smallmouth! <laughs> he about jerked it out. He jerked the thing so hard. That little bitty guy. I knew that was a small mouth, even though he was that big. He was on the bank, uh, right off the bank over there. Oh, this is only the second one I've caught all day. Just a little guy. Still, we still got a couple hours to go, probably. I'm holding up hope that we can find some bigger ones. I thought I had, I felt like a tut, 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 just like a small tab. I'm like, what is that? Usually they hit it really hard. This guy hit it kind of soft. That's funny. They're still down there. They don't want you forgetting about them. Fattened up. Oh my goodness! This is a big fish. No! What was it? I I don't even know. I had to be a smallmouth. Yeah. Holy cow! That thing pulled back like a giant. That was the fish. That was it. Man. Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back up. I should have had some of my heavier setup, probably. I don't know how I didn't hook him. I set, I set into it too. He just ripped off. Holy cow! That's the excitement I've been looking for all day. <laughs> He's just a big old wide body on him. Yeah, big old stomach. All right, check out Tyler's fish. Just a nice river smallie. I just missed one or just lost mine and he that one just hammered like uh like the one I lost so it's crazy this section right here was he right on the bank yeah there he is there it is Good one, good one. Dude, they can fight in that current. First cast with the jig over in the comb pocket. What's the deal with this spot here? Dude, this guy's pulling hard. Oh, wow. He's, he's probably about the same size as yours. I'm trying to not go back downstream though. He about had me wrapped around a log. Oh, he's a big one. Oh, yes, this is a big fish. Nice. Oh, man, Look at that. Oh, my goodness. 
this we found we finally found that stretch where there's fish at took us five hours oh look at that hit that i put i, I switched it up with the jig a little heavier you know setup on my medium heavy setup where i can have some strength i think it was my first cast with it got that guy pretty fish 15 and a half but just it probably weighs two pounds 15 and a half So I, I finally found a good fish, like the one I lost. Man, it feels good to get it. All right. It's time to get out. We're back. Just gotta get through here, get trucks loaded up, then take it back up, take the kayak back up to uh, to Tyler's truck where he parked, and uh, we'll wrap this up there. All right, let's wrap this up here. I wanted to make a point to say it, it was it felt like a disappointment of a day uh, for not getting the smallmouth we went on. But I only, it's only disappointment because there's there's days when you're fishing rivers that you can absolutely catch 20 or 30 fish. So catching catching fish, catching a couple smallmouth, catch a bunch of rock bass, have a musky follow and seeing a musky, and just having a great flow. It was actually a really fun day, you know. So I'm not taking anything away from it. I just wanted to clarify. Some days, you know, we we, we you think that we might have might be catching giants or you might catch this and that. It's just because the possibilities are there. But a uh, great time overall. Uh, if you don't know. Uh, Reed Anglin, go check out his channel. We may even go do some fishing tomorrow. He's trying to talk me into it. I don't know. But I mean, I can't turn down going another kayak trip or something. So I uh, had a great time. Really fun day. Thanks for watching. point in the video things get pretty sketchy but let's go back to the beginning and see how it all started well hello everybody going on my first kayak fishing trip where I'm actually putting it in one place and taking it out another place I got my kayak loaded up but what I'm gonna do I'm meeting up with two other guys so we're gonna load up three kayaks go down to the river put them in and have a great time All right, about to get into the river, and this is our third, fourth attempt to try to do this. It keeps getting canceled. Today is finally going to happen. Fish are active. Oh, I see some underneath me. The water is super clear. We're going to catch a bunch of these little kusa bass like this, probably. And uh, there are a ton of them in here, so it's about to be on. Big spot right off these rocks. Ah! Ah! I had on a little rooster tail. Oh man. That's aggravating. He was a pound and a half at least. Really? Maybe bigger than that. Wow, look at that spotted bass. <laughs> I'm gonna use him for bait. I should throw him back in there. All right, spotted bass. Been a little bit since I've missed that big one. Told you my Rapallo would work. Good little fish.
Little one. Little spot. Coming out of the current. The old professional, the professional John Dalton whitewater paddler. Yeah, Ooh, I can't turn this thing down. Rock bass. Easy there, buddy. It came off and got hooked in the back. Mark caught something down there. This truth of bass here. Okay. Thought he was a big fish. A little red breast. Do not worry about it? Wasn't like I was going all day. Man, we still got a long way to go. <laughs> what time is it? I don't even know. All right, we're back in the water. We got new lures tied on. We're about to go with the second half of our trip. I think we've only gone, what, we have been out here two hours maybe? Three hours? Well, hopefully this next part will be really good. He hit me in the leg, then jumped out. Get it, get it, get it, get it. The fish are just not hitting right now. Except for that one. I saw a spot come follow it up. But there was another one right, right at the same spot. He's been eating something. He's got all kinds of mush in his stomach. Coming through. Ain't no stopping me. Oh no, I'm gonna ram somebody. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so you saw what led up to what's going on here. We're about three hours into our kayaking trip. We're going down a little um, little turbulent area, a little rapid, sort of kind of a swift little uh, cut through. And um, we've been, everything's been fine. The guy, the first guy went through no problem. The second guy went through, I thought no problem. I was right behind him, but as you saw, when he goes in, his fishing uh, pole is sticking out of his kayak and a lure gets stuck in the tree and catches this kayak, so it kind of swings out. I come in, I can't stop, I'm moving through, the water's already, I'm in the current, I'm already going. So I pull in, come in behind him, and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna grab this tree and hold up till he gets out of the way. Well, I grab the tree and um, I hold up there for a second. He gets out of the way and I try to release and I can't, I can't figure out why. I feel my kayak starting to tip. The water was rushing really strong, it filled up over here. So I'm starting to tip and I'm thinking, oh man, all my stuff's gonna get ruined. So I try to jump out, but I can't. I jump, kayak flips, I go underwater, come back up. My hand is still attached to this tree, this like overhang that's right there. So my hands, I'm like, this is like uh, you know, 10, 15 seconds. I'm back up out of the water and I'm just kind of surfing on the current because it's only about four foot deep, but it's so strong I can't stand up. So my hand's still hit, caught up in this tree and finally I realize there's a hook in my finger. I got my finger hooked and there's a, a treble hook in it and it's attached to his lure that got stuck in the tree. So I'm stuck to, stuck to the lure, stuck in the tree, can't get out, nobody can get to me. So I finally get my knife out of my pocket, 
pull myself up over the water, cut the line, untangle it out, and release myself. Uh, and then we'll carry on with the video. No, it's got the cover off, but uh, I like to get my yeah SD card if anything. Well, flip my canoe or kayak. Got a lure stuck in my hand. Got to figure out how to get that out. Lost my chest mount camera. I'm looking for it, and I think a tackle bag and my phone. So could have been worse. Ah, this thing's. What's it attached to down there? What? Hey, you got my fishing poles. It's got the little barb on it. Just push straight down away from the barb. Can you push it through? No, it's it's not it's not like that. It's just in this like sideways in my. If I could cut it off, it'd be all right. I could uh, maybe be able to do something with it. These have cutters. I don't know if they can get to it. I need snips or something. I it ain't one. like a terrible problem, but it's. No, yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, it's. it's... Oh. Ow! Be able to get it. Okay, so I got the hook cut off. Now I got this thing sticking out my stupid finger. Still can't find the GoPro, still can't find my phone. Got it cut, so at least I can. Even if I can't get it out, I can go. I can paddle. All right, back in the kayak. Oh, only lost my camera, GoPro chest mount with the mic. One, I did lose one bag of one box of tackle. Something else, I'm sure. My phone. And still got a hook in me, but it's not hurting anymore, so I'm gonna catch a few fish. We got like at least another, we got a paddle anyway, so. There we go. There's a little one right underneath me. Hold on there, hold on there this time. Oh, that's a good one. All right, this is the biggest thing I've caught. I've missed two or three that were maybe twice this size. But uh, that's a good solid fish right there. Fun, strong little spot. into Georgia from Tennessee so we'll see how the Georgia fish are biting and hopefully no turnovers in Georgia and I know there's gonna be a big one hit before we get back like that right there dude stay on there stay on there stay on there Yes! Man, you got a right there. Woo! Ow, he me again. Oh, that's a good bass. GoPro's on, I think. Oh, yeah. Good thing I didn't quit fishing when I got a... Just because I flipped my kayak and got a hook still on my finger. Did I give up? No. I missed like... I've missed two or three about this size. That's a pretty looking fish. Let's see how long he is. I lost the other scale I had, so this thing only goes to 15 inches. Oh no, he's a uh, 15 and a half. He's just past the 15, maybe close to 16 inches. Good, solid bass. All right, let's go put him back in. Yeah. 
Uh, first Kusa bass I got in Georgia. This was my first kayak trip fishing, and it's definitely the craziest fishing trip I've been on. Uh, things happen. Thank the Lord, nothing major happened. Uh, everybody was safe. I uh, was able to get home uh, later on that day and get the rest of the hook out uh, without it being too painful. Um, everything's fine now. I hooked my fingers fine. I got cuts in my hand from the line, but everything's everything's good. Funny thing happening after I got back and I loaded the kayaks up and I was getting ready to go home. I was so worried about the hook in my finger. I left three fishing poles laying by the river where uh, we loaded them up. I, I, I was completely forgot about it because I was totally thinking about trying to get home. Um, so they're left, somebody's picked them up. I went back and they're gone. If you found my fishing poles, let me know, I'd appreciate it. But um, you know, I probably lost seven or $800 worth of stuff on this trip. Camera, luckily the phone, I'm getting a new one through work so I don't have to pay for that. Fishing stuff, but um, you know, everything, everybody was safe. Uh, everybody's in good health from it. At least I am anyways. <laughs> No emotional scars. I can't wait to get back out there and uh, kayak some more. Definitely had a fun time and I'm um, going to learn from this experience and hopefully don't repeat this process. Thanks for watching.